Well, I have the pleasure of being here at the Cupra Dennis Paddle Tournament in Denmark with Pablo Crosetti, one of the coaches of the couple uh, Coelho and Tapia. So, Pablo, can you explain me a little bit about the tactics, about what is behind the success of Coelho and Tapia? The first step is the emotional, uh, the emotional success that we have because we are a couple that there is no leadership uh, good defined. It's, It's a, a leadership democratic. Mm -hmm. We say, if somebody he has a good match, eh, he is a leader, and we follow that leader. So there is a like an equality in between Arturo and Austin. I think the the thing of the they have 20 years old, 23, eh, that helps. But especially they admire each other. They are they are really friends eh, outside the court, so inside the court. Yeah, you feel it, you feel it in the tears, in the hugs, in the way that they talk. So the first thing is emotion. But, but Pablo, sorry, it's funny because they didn't know each other really well before they joined as a couple. Yeah, but they, but they admire each other. Uh, Tapia will say, oh, yeah, I like the smash of Arturo, I like the volley of Arturo, I like how he blocks, I like everything of him. And Arturo say the same of Tapia. Oh, I like his magic, I, I never know where he's going to play, blah, blah. So, They had met each other. When we started this project, we talked uh, over the phone and, and they say, okay, we, we will do it. <laughs> we will do it. And we, we, we're going to however, work. However, however. Uh, yeah, and in December, in the Master Final in Barcelona, we start playing one match and one training. Uh, it was a little secret because we were playing the, the Master Final. So we say, okay, we have to shoot two or three pictures. And in that, in that moment, we train. The first train, December, uh, 15th of December, and you, we saw it. We saw the feeling, the connection. Uh, Arturo say that I, I am looking uh, directly in front of me because I, 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 I trust in Tapia. So I, I don't have to do this to yeah. see what he's doing. Uh, I, I look in front, I look the rivals, and I want to kill them. So, yeah. uh, that's, so in the tactical way, uh, we, we use... A form of, of playing paddle, the Arturo is going a little bit further to closer to the to net. The net. Uh -huh. So the other two uh, couples, they feel that Arturo is eating uh, yeah. a part of the court. So in in all over the match, we have the rivals, yeah, and Arturo Coelho. He's always like this in in this position, eh? in transition area in this uh -huh. part. So the, the area where always the coaches says to the amateur players that please don't stay there is where Arturo, Arturo stays, right? Yeah, and now you look at uh, Fox and uh, Stad and they say, 40 yeah. points transition. I say, okay, <laughs> uh, the, the coaches will say that there is n you, you n don't have to be standing yeah. here, but they are professional players. Arturo is one, 190. 190 meters so he has long yeah. uh, arms so he he can be uh, don't this don't position. do this at home <laughs> so please so tapia has two positions one is on defense and he can handle three quarters in of the defense the area and the other position is uh, here next to at arturo. the same level of arturo right so arturo do a lot of going in transition area with the forehand volley or with the block with the backhand volley eh? in diagonal in this area. We take care about the forehand players because this direction is is bad for the for the lefties, right? Yeah. So we take care about over this and we go directly in diagonal to this position. Uh -huh. And when we play when the, when we play with a left Uh, against Arturo player, yeah. for example uh, Alec Chris, we take this position not this one this position and we weigh two balls to go to the net uh -huh. so we feel uh, the, the, play, the opponent feel that in 90% of the match the curve of us is short yeah it's like like five meters seven meters not not ten exactly so so they feel that If I play down, if I play soft, Arturo kills me. If I play to Tapia, I don't know what's Tapia going to play. The love of us and the chiquitas and the half, uh, half highness to the net, the balls, they allow us to go forward to the net. So that's three balls, 
we handle to go forward and uh, and that part that we play is ball against ball, it blocks and smashes and the rival feel that they are not, they are not having a space to play the ball. Mm -hmm. And Pablo, what um, what happens when, for example, a for, uh, like a right hand player that plays here at the forehand try to look for this angle? Try always Coelho hit the ball before it uh, hits the fence, or allow the ball hits the fence and then play? Or? It depends of the rebound on the two uh, on the two walls because we we take cover the we cover the the fence, but if the ball touches the back the side glass. And then touch the back glass. Arturo can spin and play with the forehand, so that's good for us because he plays a shot that is straight forward to the center, and he goes and do a step forward also. So he's going all the time uh, forward to the net. So the idea is to anticipate the ball. There is not going to rebound really high on the side glass, back glass. Mm -hmm. that's, the, that's the idea. And Pablo, one key from Arturo is his return because he always, when the, when the opponent try to look for the, for the glass, he always try to hit the return to the backhand, like to the up backhand volley, that is yeah. super hard to like, make a, like a strength shot, right? When Arturo plays with the, with the backhand on the return of the serve, he has long uh, arm, so he can play half volley eh, from, the, from, from the backhand volley, of the rival in, in, in this position. So the rival cannot attack us. So Arturo plays that ball and go forward. The other play we do is to take the the lob, uh, not the high lob, uh, the fast lob, fast lob, to the yeah. T area, to the and center. And then go and block. Exactly. So we do always that, that step forward to, to, to do our our plan A. Uh -huh. So. If you play the, 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 the serve to the T area, to the forehand of Arturo, he plays really hard. Yeah. So he can play really hard, and then the ball is coming to the backhand, and we start the same. So this is like a continuous uh, play that we start the point in the return of the serve, counter-attacking. Last question, Pablo, is regarding Tapia. Because Tapia, I feel that he has evolved his, his game style so much Because in the last World Cup Tour Vigo final, we saw that he made six or five uh, unforced error in a final of three sets, uh, about three hours. I don't know how much time. That is insane. The other day, Sanjo sent a, a text to Tapia say, "Congratulations, my friend. Uh, you are the number one." And Tapia said to Sanjo, um, "If I will listen, uh, if I if I listen to you before." before <laughs> and Sanjo always say you have to miss four in the whole match, so he missed five. So, uh, Tapia feels really, I, I, I think it's the prime time. This is the prime time of Tapia. He feels perfect physically, mentally, uh, emotionally. He has a family close. He's happy. He's happy to play with Arturo, he's his friend. So I think that the team is, is perfect. Uh, so the, the energy that Tapia is, is feeling right now is excellent. So he plays better love. He played better backhand. We didn't have the backhand with top spin. Now we have. Uh, we have the forehand, for example, flat. Now we have flat and top spin. Eh? So we are we are learning in that process. So I think the Tabia is enjoying because uh, I, every match he say, I learned this ball. I learned this ball. I learned this ball. I learned this. Now he plays the, the the kick smash over the fence, and he do, for example, this this play is amazing because. We always say that it's bad play. Mm -hmm. When Tapia is here and you play the lob to Tapia, to the T area, and Tapia is going to smash, sometimes he do um, a fake. A exactly. And he, he played in this yeah. direction. Like, like Stupa. So, so the players, they know that Tapia is going to keep playing yeah. over the fence. So the forehand player yeah. goes Moves. directly to the, yeah. floor, to the door and the other goes and this. The and space is here. Defend. This play is not in the books of Padre. <laughs> like he said today, ah, now I, I'm doing it correct. So I'm using it. This, say, you, you can do this. You cannot do this. Yeah, you, you are killing my mind. It's, it's easier to play on these two walls or play another. He plays, uh, he's happy. So he plays 
all the all the balls that he wants. We play with a lot of risk, but sometimes we have uh, like we don't play with too much risk. We play with risk, but sometimes when we play at point that it lasts uh, two seconds, the next point we don't miss it. So uh, that was uh, I think that we work because uh, if you play the uh, smash, it's over the fence. You say every ball has, has to be smashed, and we don't do that. So the the, the way they, they feel, I think, is is amazing. Pablo, the best part of all this is that if Tapia is learning something new is that every one of us can learn something new. So, Pablo, a pleasure. Thank you so much for the explanation and all the best for the, for the season.